So let's get started, shall we? So here we have our, um, our guitar loaded. So we're going to create an empty pattern and we're going to come to song mode and this is the progression we're going to be playing. And also going to play another progression. So let's play the first progression. But before we do, let's make sure the metronome sets us on time. All right. So we're listening back. So for guitars, I will not advise you to quantize to have it straight like this. You see how unrealistic it sounds? You can manually make it like fit very close to the line. Let's assume you come here. If you were to click this in with a mouse, you can start with none and you can just simply move it around, but very close to the, um, the line here, very close to this line here. And FL Studio also has a feature you can use to get it done. Let me select this and quantize it. So now all I have to do is press alternate S, the strumizer tool. What it does is that it helps you score. You know guitars, when you hit a guitar, you call it a strum. But in piano, you strike a chord, but in piano, you strum your, sorry, you strum your guitars. So if I do this, you can see it's already taking a slightly off grip. So, but since I played it perfectly already with my uh, MIDI, I don't need to do all of that, but you can also do that as well. So, so let's listen to this chord progression over again. All right, so we have our first chord, then we'll go to our second chord progression. We'll come here and we'll record this. Let's do that again. That's going to be our second pro chord progression for like um, the bridge. Sometimes when your first studio does this, so this is the So you can see it has it perfectly on the grid. We don't want it to be perfectly on the grid. So I'm going to select this. I'm, I'm going to use our strumizer too. You can use your control shift to do multiple selection. Then we'll press alternate S. And then we'll strum it just a little. We don't want it to be too far off from the grid. <laughs> how realistic that sounds so that's how to make your guitar sound realistic that's one of the easiest ways aside from adding effects so we have all right all right so we're going to be adding some effects to our guitars to make it sound even much more realistic as i said earlier um so omnisphere you can just let's just select it omnisphere um omnisphere 2 and um we may also add to our bass so let's just let's just take all the instrument sounds to the mixer we'll be doing a serious mix but just to enhance the quality sound of our guitars to make it sound even much more realistic like it's a real thing so i'll take all of this up oh i think our Let's take this out of the way. All right, I think we're good. So, first of all, I advise you do a little bit of EQ to take out some of the low end. Don't kill the life, just a little. 
I don't need to brighten it. You may brighten it if you want, but I don't feel. Just only take out a little bit of low end. Then you come to fruity phaser or flanger or flanger, anyone. Let's try phaser first and see. You can reduce the effect here. See how it makes it sound. Then you can add a little bit of um, saturation, um, fruity distorts, just a little to make it sparkles, just a little. All right. So since we already have another guitar playing here, or rather a piano, there are similar elements, so you pan them in opposite direction. So, so we we'll have this. Let's turn off our Let's turn that off. All right. Let's add, let's do some EQ. Then we'll do a little bit of reverb on the piano to make it sound even more real. Let's see, reverb. We'll make the reverb a bit long. You can add a little bit of, let's, let's try chorus on the piano. Fat and clean. That's fine. Can reduce it a little as well. All right. So next, we'll go to the next section where we have the strum again. I think. Yes, this section. Sorry. Yes, it's rendered. So we'll link it here, Control L. Again, in opposite direction or slightly opposite, not too far. Then we EQ it again to take out a little bit of low end. Let me show you a trick you can do with Fruity um, Multiband Compressor to make it sound even more exciting. You come to Bright and you listen. And you can even make it, you can add some effects to it to also make it sound more interesting. See how it sounds now. You can also adjust the level of effects. All right, then up next, let's look for the next guitar section. I think it's this guy right here. There's a section we are missing. All right, I think it's this guy. So this is why it's important to name your tracks and name your mixer. But because it's a tutorial, we only have so little time. So we'll leave this at the middle or close to the middle because we already have guitars playing left and right. 
already have a piano so we don't we don't want to create a mess in the stereo field so we can just pan this a little here since there's a piano on the right side you can leave it clean you don't have to add effect to all your guitars adding effect to all your guitars make it sound clumsy you can leave this one clean and direct but at the same time you take out a little of the low end taking out the low end of your guitar doesn't mean you change the character of it just your know, necessary low end it create it causes like when you play if you handle a real live guitar there are some bass resonance that comes from it either it's acoustic or electric so you have to take out clear out those unwanted bass elements so it can be really clear and sound bright in the mix boost a little you can add reverb where's our reverb sustain too long since it's a strum so now let's see how it fits with our bass at the same time we also EQ our bass Just a little, because we don't want to kill the base of our bass. Just a little. And a trick to make your bass um, really shoot out without um, messing up your mix, you add a saturation plugin, and a very good saturation plugin is Fruity Distort. Reduce the mix, reduce the threshold. Then next is this guy. You can pan it all the way here. At the same time, also always check for the low end. There's always something messy going on at the low end. Type high pass. We have a decent mix for our guitars. So that's how to make your guitar sound even more realistic when um, mixing or when you're just making the beats in FL Studio. All right, so if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up so that other people that may need this can easily find this on YouTube. You can also click the link in our description below to get access to this project. And remember our community section this, you can access all the um, projects that we've ever created on this channel. We have loops as well, Afrobeat loops, Afrobeat kits, quality percussions, quality kicks and snares that will enhance your production up over a hundred percent. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe once again. I remember Sir Classy. This is SC Toots. Cheers.